Hey, so I'm playing around with Unreal Engine right now, and I've been playing around specifically with uh, materials and material functions. So I'm building a little simple house here for a level, and I've made a landscape, and there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do that. And so I've got right here, I've got, I've just put down the the basic grass, right? So if you go and get the starter content, instead of the starter content, you have a bunch of materials, and they're actually pretty nice materials. Uh, and there's one that's M ground grass, right? Well, I also want to add a few other things, right? So I'd like to have my landscape here. And yeah, it's gonna be mostly grass because this is just like a house in the burbs, right? But there'll be things like uh, these concrete tiles probably will be coming off and making like a little driveway or maybe that'll be the roads. Actually, I don't know if there's like a nice asphalt. I don't see an asphalt, I'll, but I'll get an asphalt from somewhere else, right? Well, the one way you can do this is you do layers. You end up making a material that has layer selection. So like I've got ground grass and concrete tile layers in this and then I can just paint on concrete tiles. Like if I do that right now. Um, paint. So I need to rebuild. Yeah, there you go. So you can see this is now becoming concrete tile instead of grass, and it's mixing it up. And I'm actually not going to keep that because it looks ugly, but put that back. But that's not the point. The point I'm trying to show is there's two good ways to do this, or actually there's now one good way to do this. Um, and there's several bad ways to do this. I just I just ruined my, there you go. Now we're all back to grass. I'll just repaint over everything. Anyway, so I have made a material that's just ground. And now the thing is, is let's go into the ground grass, actually. Let's go into that material. They are complex. It's not just, um, it's not just a very simple image, right? They're doing a lot of interesting things to make this look good. Um, and you want to keep all that. And the same with the concrete tiles. There's a lot of stuff happening in the concrete tiles to make it look good. Um, you can see all these nodes, right? Now you can literally copy and paste both of these node sets into one giant material blueprint thing, right? Uh, but it already, honestly, this already is confusing to me. Um, so what I've done is you can write material functions. And, uh, so I made two material functions, concrete tiles and ground grass. And, um, in their syntax, they're kind of usually using what's called Hungarian notation. So you would normally see M underscore material name and MF underscore material function name. So this would be MF underscore concrete tiles and MF underscore ground grass. I'm not currently doing that. I might go back to doing that, but that's not really my style. Um, and then from there, I'm making this ground, which is here. And that made life easier. Um, and what I've been doing there is, right, so I was making, um, I haven't moved over concrete tiles yet, but so this is basically the net node network stolen from the concrete tiles material. And then I was making multiple outputs for the things and this works and you can name them, right? So like here's the base color and here's the roughness and here's the normal and here's the ambient inclusion. And you know, so I'm putting a sort priority on it. That's so that the pins come out in the right order, right? So here's base color goes to base color, roughness, normal, ambient occlusion, right? And then I was using layer blends to merge them. 
Well, I just was reading through the documentation about something. I think actually about an ambient occlusion. I was trying to figure out what the default is and just exactly what that's controlling because the grass doesn't have it, the concrete tiles does. Um, and then I happened to notice this make and break material attributes. And so this is a much nicer way to do it that even. So I'm gonna move the other one real quick. So instead of having like I have in concrete tiles where there's four outputs and they have names and sort order, and then I do that stuff, I can literally just say make material attributes and it's got them all. And then that outputs to uh, just a result. And then in the ground, there you go, there's my ground grass. It goes to a result out and that results just going into break material attributes. And there you can just pull off the pins from there and do the same thing. So they've all got the reasonable names. And I think, so this is just a nicer way to do things. Uh, so I'm gonna move concrete tiles over real quick. So concrete tiles instead, I wanna make um, material attributes. And this is the base color. And this, is the roughness and the green goes to oops I hate these graphs green is going to come on the ambient occlusion I think that's what's happening. Yeah. And then this guy down here feeds into the normal, which is normal. All right. And then I can delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. And then I'm going to rename this one to result, put it back at its default of just zero. And instead, this feeds into that. And there we go. So that's that. And then in ground, I guess I need to save, there we go. And then in ground, yep, and now it's broken. So I need to break material attributes. And this goes in there. All right, and now so base color. And where are we at? Roughness goes here. And the normal goes here, and the ambient occlusion goes here. Um, yeah. That's concrete tops. Ground grass, concrete tops. So yeah, so we've made a layer blend. I should make a new one. I'll get some scratch. Uh, layer, what's the other thing that's in blend? Material, what's this called? Material, air, blend. Material expression. Layer, just layer. Landscape layer blend, that's it. Landscape layer blend, right? So if I wanted to make a new one and so you, do it. you find landscape layer blend, then you go in here and add layers. So like there's two of them. In this case, you might you'll probably have more. 
boom, boom, boom. And then you give them, expand these guys, if it'll let me, and give it a name like blue stuff, so layer blue stuff, and then so forth. And then you just wire that up. And after copy pasting, however many of these you need. And actually, I wonder if I can. just output from here. That'd be a good thing to try. Like I might not even need this bit anymore now that I'm doing this. I might be able to literally just take boom, boom, and say go to a layer blend. That'll be interesting to, let's give that a try. Like so, I can do well, I guess I should copy this to C to B and instead of basically this is just all material. I guess it's just nothing. Um, so let's try this layer ground grass and layer concrete tiles and the output goes to then I have, can have a break. Turbids. This might work. This will make it even nicer. Um, roughness. Well, I guess I'd actually literally run all of them. This seems silly. Let's not do that. Let's see. So we've got base color. We've got roughness. We've got the normal. And we've got the ambient occlusion. Those are the four I actually care about. So this might actually and I don't need this. And I don't need this. So if this works, this is nice. Learning on the fly. And we can pull the list before you're a little closer. We're not touching the opacity either. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, let's see if this works. Save that. Compiling shaders. All right. So then the other ground should be good. Save, build. Lighting to happen. Oh, another thing you need to notice that's annoying is uh, you'll get these layers show up here whenever you're because you're adding them in here in the layer blend when you use it but you also do need to s click this little plus create layer info and save them somewhere so there's two layer infos sitting somewhere 
know where they went. Ah, they're here. They're actually attached to the house, but that makes sense, yeah. Um, and that's another cool little feature. This is this little hourglass guy. Or not hourglass, uh, what do you call that? Spike glass, the little magnifier glass. You can click on that and it'll take you to wherever it is down in the in the content browser. So yeah, I think that worked. And now I can paint with some concrete tiles. Yep. And then I can undo that. Cool. So that's even nicer. So yeah, that's the basic thing is if you make a thing you like or find a thing you like, like the, they have the really nice grass and they have the really nice concrete tiles, you can just make these material functions for them using these make material tributes running into the result and you just put in the right pins like so, like, so this is setting base color, roughness, normal, and be an occlusion. And then of course, ground grass is doing base color, roughness, normal. And then you can combine them. So you've got your two material functions, calls into a layer blend, which I'm using the weighted blend, where I've named the layers so there's two layers, ground, gla ground glass, grass, and concrete tiles. And then I can break the material attributes out from that and just move the pins out into my material. And then I've got my both materials. Just like that. And so like, I'm gonna add a third and a fourth and a fifth probably on this. I probably want something that's going to be like the road out front and probably something different that's going to be like a sidewalk and maybe something else, maybe a different sort of grass. Yeah. And you can merge these two, like they, they can be just a bit, although that doesn't make much sense for grass and road and concrete tiles, but it does make sense for like grass and some other grass or grass and moss. Very right, cool. So I go out of my house, grass, and now we're concrete tiles. So actually that would make a good sidewalk more than a road. So that's probably what that'll be used for. All right.